what's up collective how y'all feeling how y'all doing i hope you all are doing well sending y'all lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of love we are about to get into your team message for today happy saturday everybody okay even though this is titled for saturday what june 15th whenever you come across it it's when it may resonate with you okay what's up y'all happy saturday enjoy your weekend everybody Let's get into the messages. This is a general collective reading, meaning I'm picking up on multiple energies, multiple situations and storylines. Please understand that everything you hear may not necessarily be for you. Take only what resonates with you and leave the rest for somebody else out there, okay? Take only what resonates with you. Please trust your own discernment, all right? Use your discernment, you guys. Let's see what's going on in the energy. Father God, thank you for this beautiful day today. We appreciate you and all that you do in our lives. We are truly grateful. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for these messages. Okay, what do you have for the collective today? Allow me to see things clearly. Show me what it is that I need to see. What is it that the divine collective needs to know at this time? I ask that you please cover, shield, protect me as I channel this energy. Cover, shield, protect the viewers that are watching this for their highest good as well. Any negative energy being directed towards me, my viewers, and on my channel shall be reflected upon this rightful owner immediately. No weapon formed against us will ever prosper, or evil eyes shall go blind in Jesus' name. Amen. I say amen. Please block out any negative energies wanting to interfere with the accuracy or the delivery of this message. I'm sorry, you guys, if you guys hear like um anything in the background or you know, I have some my air pumping um it's you know it's just other stuff going on all right spare what messages do you have for my beautiful and handsome divine collective what is it that they need to know and i'm gonna see things clearly let me get two more shuffles for the collective what is it that they need to know all these spare what messages do you have for the collective you guys let's see we have the three of coins the ace of cups in reverse and the three of swords in reverse okay collective somebody here sees that you're happy okay three of swords in the reverse nine of cups palace of coins the world card somebody here knows that a cycle has closed out or you have took it upon yourself to call judgment in a situation to close out a cycle your damn self but either way collective i feel like a lot of you have walked away from something or someone for good okay um i definitely feel like you've severed your ties okay you severed ties you've completed something you've learned your lesson you've applied it to your life you out with the old and with the new type of energy some of you could be moving okay i keep getting that message i got that message for y'all the other day when i gave y'all a message some of y'all could definitely be moving but you could be going into a better space uh something here about you being in a better space mentally emotionally okay it's like you in a better space mentally emotionally physically spiritually like all of the above um nine of cups is also emotional fulfillment on all levels this is like inner peace you know that true peace comes from within you're not seeking outside validation you're not looking to outside resources people places or things to fulfill you this is someone that gets their emotional fulfillment from within you know that true peace comes from within i feel like you have a strong connection to god you have a strong connection to source um something significant about fruit as well as well some of you could be eating a lot of fruits during this time specifically grapes but this is also symbolic of you bearing the fruits of your labor okay enjoying the fruits of your labor oh i gotta sneeze <coughs> enjoying the fruits of your labor bearing the fruits of your labor eating your grapes okay eating your grapes some of y'all could also be into wine or you could be drinking wine as well somebody here was expecting you guys to be like heartbroken you're not heartbroken and if you was heartbroken you've healed from that shit okay like this speaks of someone that has healed and has found true inner peace okay 
you are not heartbroken you have found true and a peace collective for sure somebody here wants to come back towards you okay in some way shape or form or they was hoping that you was heartbroken and you was going to come back towards them but it's clip somebody realized like that's not how this shit is about to go you're not about to go towards them or you're not about to allow them back into your energy back into your space back into your life because you done with something you closed out something somebody was expecting you to be so um heartbroken and so like burdened and stressed out about a certain situation that you just allow anything to enter your life you know somebody here wasn't expecting you to set up firm boundaries but yeah that's exactly what y'all did somebody here could be a cancer or a leo or you have cancer or leo in your chart shit somebody could even be on the cusp of cancer leo okay somebody here has cancer or leo placements highly aspected you or them all right but we got strong cancer and leo energy here too all right we also got some libra energy coming up all right we got yeah we got strong cancer leo pisces and libra here okay so those signs could be significant but let's see what's going on give me something on this chariot in the reverse holy spirit give me some messages on the chariot in the reverse why is the chariot in the reverse here yeah, queen of swords reverse judgment reverse the magician reverse god damn there you go collective showing up as the star so you got somebody here that really worked hard to uh block you okay somebody here lied on y'all somebody here was hoping you know what somebody here was dragging your name through the mud collective and somebody here was hoping that whatever lies that they was telling about you whatever it is that they were saying they was hoping that shit was gonna stay somebody here could be a cancer or an air sign or a virgo a gemini okay whoever this person is or a leo whoever this person is whoever these people are they really thought that them saying something about you that was false was going to stick and that people was just going to really jump on board and your life was going to be a reflection of whatever lies they was telling because they was also doing spell work behind the scenes whoever the fuck this is they under judgment this scorpio this cancer this uh gemini libra aquarius this virgo this leo whoever the fuck these people are these people are all under judgment okay that shit is backfiring these motherfuckers gotta eat their words it's so much to the point where the minute somebody open their fucking mouth when it when it's in regards to you and it's false these motherfuckers choke like i'm really getting here that somebody be choking they be choking on their own spit they be choking on their words like your spirit team is not playing with this person they not playing with these people like you gonna shut the fuck up you know what i'm saying you gonna stop lying on my baby <laughs> like it's really that energy and what's so crazy is that now this person may want your help or they may want to come towards you. They may want to say something to you. Five of Pentacles in reverse. This is somebody that now feels like, you know, an outsider, an outcast. They feel like they don't have no place in your life. But my whole thing is, why do you want a place in the collective life when you're trying to tear them down? But it's really on some shit. Like, if you can't beat them, join them. So this person couldn't beat you. Now they want to come back. They want to join you. You somebody that's leveling up. You bossing up. You showing up as the star. You could be an Aquarius or you could have Aquarius in your chart for some of you. But even if you're not, even if you don't have strong Aquarius placements, you showing up as a star. You showing up as someone that has healed. You showing up as someone that's, that's a healer. And this is what I spoke on initially. Something about you not being heartbroken anymore. Somebody was expecting you to be heartbroken or bent out of shape or stressed out. And that's not what's going on here. You have healed yourself, okay? And like I said, a lot of y'all um, building a, a really beautiful life for yourself. You manifesting your dream life. Uh, some of you could be moving is what I was saying earlier too. And the Ten of Cups ended up coming out. This is also some of you could be building a family. Some of you could be expanding a family. You could be getting with someone. Some of y'all could even be pregnant. Or this is what's going to happen in the near future. You're going to build a beautiful family life. You have a beautiful fucking future. Collective, whoever you are, you have a beautiful future in store for you. God got some big fucking plans for you. And whoever this person is, they want to come back around. This Cancer, this Air Sign, this Virgo, this Gemini, Scorpio, Leo, whoever the fuck this is. These people want to come back. Yes. Eight of Cups in the reverse. Somebody here wants to come back. King of Wands. Somebody here is like, I miss you. Okay? Like somebody from your past is saying that they miss you. Could be a fire sign masculine involved as well. That's saying that they miss you. Somebody here could be an Aries Leo or a Sag. Or they could have strong fire placements. Somebody here could also have a Scorpio moon placement. You or them. 
but somebody here wants to come back around. Eight of Cups reverse. I cannot make it up. Five of Pentacles reverse. Eight of Cups reverse. That's double confirmation that speaks on somebody wanting to return, somebody wanting to come back. This person did y'all wrong, though. With the justice in the reverse, this is somebody that did y'all wrong. And they was expecting that even though they did you wrong, even though they betrayed you, something was supposed to stick. You were supposed to be burdened. You were supposed to be down and out. You were supposed to feel like you had nobody. And even if you did feel like you ain't have nobody at one point, you still just went within. You found that deep inner peace from within because you started healing yourself. Somebody wasn't expecting you to go that route. Somebody was expecting you to self-sabotage. Somebody was expecting you to make a mess out of your life life due to the pain and trauma that they've caused you this person is stressed out these people oh they stressed out give me something on this justice in the reverse holy spirit give me something on the justice in the reverse holy spirit give me something on justice reverse yeah this is like a secret though somebody here is secretly upset <laughs> yeah somebody here is trying to hide the fact that they upset and somebody here is upset because whatever spell work they doing, that shit is not sticking, is not hitting on you. Somebody here could have thought your connection to God, your connection to the divine, your connection to source, the fact that you have such a high vibration, they could have thought that shit was false. They could have thought that shit was baloney, okay? They thought that shit was counterfeit until they came against you spiritually and they fucking crumbling. Like, let's really talk about it. We got the temperance and the reverse and the moon card. Somebody here is pissed. Somebody here could be a Libra, a Sagittarius, a Pisces. These motherfuckers is stressed the fuck out okay stress the fuck out somebody here is mad give me something here on the moon card they mad yo somebody here unhappy they mad sun reverse temperance reverse the moon card here somebody is pissed the fuck off okay i'm telling you it's all about your connection to source it's all about your connection to source uh spirit it's all about your connection to spirit, Holy Spirit, Source, the Divine, Father God, the Most High, the Creator, your Abba. You know what I'm talking about, man. Some of y'all are prayer warriors out there. What's up, Divine Collective? What's up, Soul Fan? What's up, Soul Tribe? Some of y'all are heavy hitters when it comes to praying. Don't you ever stop. Continue to stay prayed up, baby. You are truly favored and blessed. You are covered. You are shielded. You have the shield of Christ on you. God is very sensitive about you. He don't play about you. God don't play about you, baby. And when you pray, that shit is heard. That shit is felt. And he changes divine order. He calls judgment in situations all about you praying and speaking to him and giving your cares, giving your fears, giving your worries to him. He got you. You straight these motherfuckers is mad about your connection to source they wish you would shut the fuck up they wish that you would stop praying they wish that you would stop having such strong faith they mad oh these motherfuckers is irritated they super pressed they big mad somebody here thought that shit was fake they thought your connection to source was counterfeit I'm telling you, anybody that goes against you spiritually is definitely mad. And these motherfuckers is watching you. They could even be watching you as you praying. You know what I'm saying? Somebody here watching, they listening, sending monitoring spirits. They need to be very careful with that shit too. Because I keep getting a message. I've been getting this message since last year. That any motherfucker that is like gun ho on astro projecting. Or if they are obsessed with astro projecting to you and this, this and that. Them motherfuckers is going to lose their mind. Or they not even going to make it back to their own vessel. Either way, they losing their mind. Whether you made it back to your own vessel or not. And I mean, truth be told, if you out your motherfucking mind, you may not be in your vessel. <laughs> you, you, you get my drift. You picking up what I'm putting down collected. But these people watch you. They see that you praying. They see that your prayers are being heard. Your prayers are being answered. These people see that you still beautiful too. Like it's something here about you being extremely beautiful collective. Motherfuckers been out here trying to do beauty spells on some of y'all. Was expecting you to look crazy. Expecting your skin to be fucked up. Or expecting your body to be out of whack. Or just expecting you to be down and out. For you not to put no effort into how you look. To be walking outside. Your hair all matted up. Letting balls on your shirt. Holes in your clothes your feet crusty but you got sandals on you know what i'm saying like somebody here was expecting y'all to be out here looking crazy but they watch you they see that your prayers are being answered they see that you calm they see that you at peace they see that you ain't scared of shit they see that you ain't stunting them they see that you ain't giving them no energy you know demons get really irritated when you don't feed them when you don't give them no energy when you don't pay them no mind these motherfuckers is restless. They may not even be sleeping well. With the four swords in the reverse, these motherfuckers is restless. They may not even be sleeping well, okay? Somebody here cannot believe 
how connected you are to source, how beautiful you still are. Somebody here cannot believe that nothing they're doing is affecting you. Somebody here can't believe that you're at peace, you're not disappointed. How is it that you're not disappointed? How is it that you're not burdened? You're not crying. You're not running back to people that betrayed you because you don't have nobody. Somebody here could have been purposely trying to disconnect you from certain people in your life, thinking that that was going to really like bend you out of shape. That was really going to tear you apart. No. Even if you did feel some way about certain people disconnected from you or you not having a connection with certain people or you finding out that people that you thought you could trust, you really can't. Even if that did hurt you, which I'm sure it did, because at the end of the day you're still human even though these motherfuckers feel like you're really not let's talk about it it's like even if that could have hurt you it didn't really make or break you you know what i'm saying at the end of the day you know ain't nobody gonna come do shit for you but you okay you know that god literally does certain things in your life to show you that the only person you truly need is him let's really talk about it you know so somebody here is pissed off somebody here is also mad because you have an emperor in your energy that's still quite in love with you okay we have the emperor to the king of cups there's a masculine that's in your energy that's still feeling y'all and i keep getting heavy emphasis on still so this is somebody that already had feelings for you this is somebody that you could have already had some previous dealings with or this is somebody that you could have already met but i'm hearing still okay heavy emphasis on still this person still loves you somebody here could have been trying to affect how somebody feel about you somebody here could have been wanting to change somebody's feelings for you but that shit is not working we have the emperor to the king of cups this person's heart chakra is open this is somebody that could be going through a, an awakening this is somebody that could be changing their perspective changing their views on certain things this is somebody here that could have also been under some sort of spiritual attack they was also under some sort of spell some sort of curse some sort of illusion but this person is healing i'm also hearing that for some of you you are the catalyst to this person's healing you are the catalyst to this emperor's healing but this person is healing and their heart space is open and they got a lot of love for you okay king of cups to the emperor this person is in love with you this person has a lot of love for you they have a lot of respect for you okay and there's a king of pentacles in the reverse that's pissed off about this Okay, could be a Taurus is what I just heard, but there could be a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn masculine that's pissed off. This person feels like that's the worst news. Like this Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, whoever the fuck this is, they like, I cannot believe that this motherfucker still got feelings for the collective. I cannot believe that this person's in love with the collective. First of all, this person cannot believe that you still up and popping and running and looking beautiful and living your fucking life. That's what they can't believe first and foremost. And then on top of that, they, your emperor's still in love with you. This person cannot believe this shit. Like, they cannot believe this shit. They don't want this shit to go down at all. Somebody here is like, yo, these two people cannot come together. This person needs to be in fear. They need to be prideful. They need to be in their ego. They don't need to express no love to the collective. The collective needs to look at them as an enemy. They need to both stay the fuck away from each other. Because somebody here feel like you two are going to run it up. It's something here about your spiritual inheritance, your divine inheritance being connected to this person and vice versa. With the lovers and the ten of pentacles, it's like y'all are attached to infinite abundance, to fucking wealth. Y'all are prosperity in itself. Okay, this is like two fucking chosen ones coming together, two divine beings coming together, two earth angels coming together. Like, let's really talk about it. This is a divine union, a spiritual contract, a divine contract. This is like some twin flame shit. But with the lovers and the ten of pentacles, it's like y'all gonna run it the fuck up together. Even if you and this person decided not to romantically pair up, if y'all went into business together or something like that, that shit is going to, it's going to run up. It's going to run up. It's like self-made millionaire on their way to billionaire type status. It's like two Jeff Bezos coming together. No funny shit. I'm not gassing it. Like somebody here knows this shit and this is why they hating. This is why they plotting and scheming behind the scenes. This is why they doing the most. This is why they're doing the most. Somebody here knows that this is going to open great doors for the both of you. Four of Wands. The Lovers, the Ten of Pentacles, the Four of Wands. This is marriage too. For some of you, I keep saying, even if you don't romantically be involved with this person, y'all supposed to have like a business. Y'all supposed to do something together. But let's be let's be honest here. Some of y'all, you know, it's going to be love. It is love. This person is in love with you with this King of Cups in the upright. This, this emperor is in love with y'all. Okay, period. This person's in love with y'all. They cannot stop missing you. Like somebody here 
they can't fucking get over you. They can't stop missing you. Like, they just really can't. I feel like this person has tried. They have tried to put this shit behind them. This is somebody that feels like they're going to forever live in regret if they don't act on their feelings, if they don't express their feelings, if they don't see if you and them could actually build a life together. This is somebody that's going to forever be in regret. It's something here about you specifically. Like, they don't feel this way about nobody else. And collective, whoever you are, you may feel the same way about this person. Like, you don't really feel this way about nobody else. It's like, yo this person really touched your heart they touched your soul on another level and that's because you and this person actually share a soul let's really talk about it but with the lovers the ten of pentacles and the four of wands oh this is your gate this is your gateway this is your your clearance this is your happiness this is your divine inheritance this is a contract that you two are supposed to fulfill it's to the point where your spirit team is working on this shit your their spirit team and your spirit team are working on this shit they about to cause supernatural endings and supernatural occurrences in these people life that's trying to stand in the way of this shit this could already be taking place or this is something that's about to pop off but when i tell you the table's about to fucking turn it's about to be some big shit happening these people know which is why they could be attacking the most right now for some of you you getting attacked a lot right now don't worry about that shit stay focused on god don't worry about that shit don't sweat that shit keep doing what the fuck you doing keep running it the fuck up confirmation keep running it the fuck up keep getting to your fucking bag keep staying connected and focused on source stay focused on your goals keep investing in yourself keep living your fucking life keep doing every fucking thing that you was doing before don't let none of this shit stop you like i said don't feed these demons don't entertain them don't give them none of your attention none of your energy fuck them period straight like that that's what God wants you to do. God wants you to continue to focus on him, run it up, give your cares, give your worries, give any fears that you may have to him. Because truth be told, you ain't got shit to fear. Because when God moving for you, you unfucking stoppable you untouchable. Don't you forget that shit. But yeah, with the lovers here, the ten of pentacles and the four of wands, man, please, this is it. This is your abundance, your infinite abundance. This is your wish fulfillment. This is your kingdom spouse. This is the love of your life, period. This person knows that shit. They know this about you. They've come to their senses is what I'm hearing. This person could have been trying to like um, downplay your connection with them at one point because they was trying to get over you or they was trying to replace you. This person could have even went as far as to trying to replace you because they wasn't ready to do the work. This person has been put in the middle of some fucking spiritual warfare that got their asses all together. Now somebody here is ready for their awakening or somebody here is going through an awakening. This person could be going through the dark night of the soul. This person going through some shit now because spirit done shook their asses the fuck up when it comes to this connection and them getting on track. Somebody here could definitely be a Scorpio, a Aries, a Cancer, Pisces, a Gemini. They could have that in their chart for some of y'all. Okay, but this is somebody that y'all could have stopped talking to okay some of y'all you could have stopped talking to this person some of y'all could have even blocked this person yeah whoever you are you and hermit energy you want to be left the fuck alone collective you showing up as the hermit the queen of wands and the star you like listen i'm i'm working on building myself healing myself from the inside out i'm shining i'm glowing i'm the strongest i've ever been okay i'm getting my power I, i'm standing in my power i'm setting healthy boundaries you looking absolutely beautiful some of y'all could be really into like skincare or you you got like this whole beauty skin regimen it's something here where you are just taking good care of yourself you're taking good care of your body you are nurturing yourself from the inside out and it's like you really separating yourself from a lot of toxic people a lot of toxic bullshit some of y'all could have realized like damn i only got like one or two friends if that you know what i'm saying once you got rid of everybody once you cleared your fucking path of the snakes and of the fake motherfuckers the backstabbers the bootlickers you know what i'm saying the clout chain is the motherfuckers that want to just feed off for of you the energy vampires once you cleared your path of them motherfuckers a lot of y'all could have realized like yo sis yo b i got like two friends i got like one friend yo yo some of y'all was like yo the only friend i got is god that's okay baby that's okay keep doing what you're supposed to be doing but a lot of y'all are in hermit mode okay some of you you could be a virgo or you could have virgo in your chart i'm getting virgo aquarius I'm getting Aries, Leo, Sag energy. Some of y'all can have fire, Virgo, or Aquarius in your chart, whoever I'm speaking to. Some of y'all, you really just taking good care of yourself as you should, but you free. You free from this shit. Somebody here was trying to bind y'all. <laughs> binding how? Binding who? Binding where? How sway? Where they do that at? It's not going down, okay? Like, you living freely, okay? 
you living freely and you living peacefully is what I'm hearing. Freely and peacefully, okay? Yes, and you running it the fuck up. Like, it's something here about your bag, too. So it's like, okay, let's go back to the message where I said you and this person is like some sort of divine inheritance where their money is connected to you or your money is connected to them, this, this, and that. Okay, but aside from that, you still running it up. Okay, with the Queen of Pentacles here, you still running it up. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy here. Y'all got strong earth, strong fire, okay, or Aquarius here in charge. You still showing up as someone that's still running it up, okay? And you like, baby, I'll be here. You know what I'm saying? I'm running it up and I'll be here. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not telling y'all to wait on nobody. I'm not telling y'all that, but it's giving that energy. Like, I'm running it up. I'm taking good care of myself and I'll be there. This is really on some divine intervention type shit. This is on some shit that is faded. This is a faded event playing out. God wants you in this. The God is going to make this shit happen, period. Like when God say it's showtime, ain't no motherfucker out there about to close the curtains. Ain't nobody going to stay cut. Ain't nobody going to close shit out. Ain't nobody stopping shit that God want for you. If God wants you to have something, you're going to have it. If God says something is about to pop off, that's what the fuck is going to pop off. It ain't a motherfucker that's going to stop that shit. God will take motherfuckers out if he have to. And he could have already done this, truth be told. Depending on y'all situations, everybody's situation a little different. Everybody's story a little different. But I'm telling you, for some of you, it's some motherfuckers that ain't here right now because they was trying to come into your way. And it don't necessarily have to be because of this person. I'm just talking about motherfuckers that's trying to get in the way of what God got for you in general. When when I'm I'm talking about motherfuckers that's trying to get in the way of your healing, your peace, your success, your, anything like that, anything pertaining to you bossing the fuck up and healing and leveling up. If any motherfuckers trying to get in the way of that and interfere and be a nuisance, God will take these motherfuckers clean out. He has, like I said, for some of you, you got people that ain't here right now because of that shit. Let's really talk about it. But with the Queen of Pentacles here and the Two of Cups, y'all coming together. I told you, when God says something going to happen, damn it, that's just what's going to happen. That's what it's going to be. God says something going to be, it's going to be. Look at that. The two doves, the two lovebirds and shit, two of cups. Equal give and take partnership, a union. That's what's coming together, period. Give me something on this two of cups. That's what the fuck is going to come together because God said so. That's why. Yeah, five of wands and a reverse the tower. Anybody trying to send you conflict, that shit is getting married back to them. This queen of cups in the reverse, this devil, this wicked fucking karmic distorted feminine, this bitch here, this tired old hag, this bitch is going to find, she's going to spend her last day in the light. I'm hearing that her days are fucking counted. Her days are fucking numbered. Okay, that's what spirit just said. My spirit team just said this bitch days is numbered. Somebody here could be a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or a Capricorn. This bitch need to be very fucking careful. Her specifically. I don't know what the fuck this bitch doing behind the scenes, but spirit says she needs to be very careful. This bitch specifically needs to be very careful because this is somebody that just won't stop with the five of wands here. This is somebody that just don't learn. You know what I'm saying? This is somebody that could have got burnt. They could have fell, broke their leg. This person could have, you know, damn near burnt their house down with one of their candles that they was working on for you, blew the fuck up. Like, this is somebody that just don't learn. This is somebody that could be in the middle of, like, a, a war zone, destructing, just self-destructing, and they still doing the same shit over and over and expecting a different result. You know, doing the same shit over and over and expecting a different result is a form of insanity. That is actually the definition of of insanity this queen of cups in the reverse this heifer is insane this person has already lost their mind they mind is already bound chained to the devil this is why this person keep doing shit they probably don't even know why they doing shit half the time they can't even stop if they wanted to stop this is somebody that may also want to stop doing shit because they know that they just ruining themselves somebody here knows that they are ultimately destroying themselves they are sacrificing themselves this is somebody that's using up all their energy and god is not god God, the demons okay is like literally sucking the life out of this person it's like this person could even conjured up certain entities and shit like that and these entities are fucking feeding off this person they need to be fed so whoever conjured these spirits and shit like that they feeding off this motherfucker because the shit is backfiring these entities these spirits is feeding off this bitch because the spirits need to be fed Okay, you done conjured these motherfuckers and they hungry now and they feeding off your ass. This person is reaching a real fucking storm, a real tower. You know, it's really sad here. It's really fucking sad. But this is why 
I say it don't pay to eat, be evil, but it pays. You know what I'm saying? You have to pay. It don't pay to be evil. Oh, but you're going to pay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're going to have to pay. This is somebody that think they real sneaky. They real clever. This bitch think they real sneaky. They real clever. And God going to show them. God going to show them who's boss. Didn't I tell you that this is a faded fucking event playing out? We have the Wheel of Fortune here that came out in the upright. The Wheel of Fortune speaks of fate. That speaks of destiny. That speaks of something that's bound to happen. That's meant to happen. That's unstoppable. That's not going to be stopped. This is the inevitable playing out. That's why I said it's supernatural occurrences that's happening in everybody fucking life. Whether good or bad. Move the fuck out the way and you'll be cool. Like, that's really the message that God has given today. Move out the fucking way and you'll be cool. If you want to continue doing wicked shit, if you want to continue to step into the path of the chosen ones, then I will deal with you accordingly, however I see fit. And if that means you got to spend your last motherfucking day on this realm, then that's just what the fuck going to happen. We got the will of fortune here, okay? Period. God is not playing. This is fate playing out. Somebody here is pissed off because somebody here was expecting you to be in the Ten of Swords. The same way I told you somebody was expecting you to be heartbroken. Somebody was expecting you to be in the Three of Swords. Somebody here was supposed to expecting you to be down and out, crying, sad, burdened. They pissed off because you don't feel none of that. You're not depressed. You're not sad. You're not drained. You're not heartbroken. You're not ugly. You're not out here looking crazy. You're still taking care of yourself. If anything, you're taking better care of yourself. Okay, because I'm getting here that some of y'all are taking better care of yourself. Like, you doing the absolute most at this point. That's why I said some of y'all could have gotten into a whole different, like, um, a fitness, um, fitness journey, fitness schedule, gym routine, skin regimen, whatever. It's like you doing the absolute most. Like, you amp that shit up. So, it's like you was already taking care of yourself, but you taking the best care of yourself ever. Somebody here is like, what the fuck? Somebody here realizes that something here is actually making things better for you. And if they don't, they soon will realize that. Somebody here keep attacking you and all they doing is taking themselves out. That's why I said. Somebody here that's continuing to attack you is just ultimately sacrificing themselves because everything that's going on in your life is just amping it up this person must be under some sort of illusion that what they doing is actually working on you which is why they continuing to do it but ultimately what they're doing is destroying and sacrificing themselves this person is taking themselves out meanwhile everything that they want to happen to you is actually having reverse effects so if somebody here wants you to be ugly you look even more beautiful if somebody here wants you to stop taking care of yourself you taking even better care of yourself if somebody wants to affect your finances you getting even more money it's like somebody here don't realize that they actually help you they actually helping god at this point because they taking themselves out they doing it for god they like okay like at this point the devil and god working together it's like yo get rid of this motherfucker you know what i'm saying get this person to continue to attack the chosen one so they could just get rid of this motherfucker like take this person out get this person to take themselves out you know the same way they wanted you to take yourself out collected that's what the fuck is happening they taking themselves out this i'm telling you this person is losing their life force their life force is being drained this shit is being sucked out of them strength in the reverse i cannot make it up somebody here got entities feeding off of them bro they do like i'm not bullshitting y'all Somebody here got entities that they conjured up that's fucking feeding off of them. And they got this motherfucker under an illusion that if they continue to attack you, that eventually it will work. It's never going to work, bro. You're killing yourself. Like, this shit is crazy. Tree of life in the reverse. I cannot make it up. You're somebody that stands alone. You stand with God. So you don't really stand alone, but you're somebody that appears to stand alone. Like, people that really don't understand spirituality, people that really don't understand the concept of you having ancestors, spirit guides, and the creator on your side, people that don't really believe in that, you appear to be somebody that's alone, nine of pentacles. And that's another reason why somebody here is so gun ho on attacking you, because it's just not making sense to them how you by yourself and how you standing like this, how you got all this motherfucking power, how you got all this protection. Who the fuck helping you? God, that's it. I've been telling y'all motherfuckers this for, for the past year or so or even over a year is god when god is fighting for you when god is working on your behalf baby you unfucking stoppable you untouchable i'm telling you he's a miracle worker he moved fucking mountains you know what i'm saying he's extraordinary i'm telling you like that's that's the side you want to be on i don't understand why anybody would choose any other fucking side i really don't but hey to each his own okay but you going from the nine to the ten of pentacles collective god damn it god damn it 
You you going from the nine to the ten of pentacles. You running it the fuck up. Okay, you running it up, collective. And somebody here is concerned. You know, don't get it twisted. They worried. They're worried. The fact that you still standing on your own, the fact that you still making shit pop, the fact that God's still providing for you, somebody here is worried. Somebody here could have went to extreme lengths to make sure that you was in poverty so that you couldn't take care of yourself or that you would run back towards people that was going to destroy you. That shit did not work. You still standing on your own. God said, I'm going to take care of you. Give all your fears to me. Just trust me. You said, God, I trust you. Said you trust me. All you got to do is get, put your trust, put your faith in God and watch him work his fucking magic, yo. I'm telling you, that's all you got to do. Somebody here keep getting rejected. That shit keep backfiring. Shit keep backfiring on these motherfuckers. Yo, I'm telling you, shit just keep backfiring on these motherfuckers. All of this shit speaks of backfires, bro. The devil reversed the tower, the seven of wands here, the five of wands in the reverse, the five of swords in the reverse, the ten of swords in the reverse. This is all backfires, yo. This shit is getting rejected. These motherfuckers is burdened. They weighed down. They exhausted. They tired. And guess what? The cycle still closed out. You did all of this shit and you're exhausted. You did all of this shit and you on your last motherfucking leg. You did all of this shit and this shit knocked the wind out you. You did all of this shit and you tired. Like you fucking hard-headed. These motherfuckers is hard-headed. You know what I'm saying? These people hard-headed. The world caught in the Ten of Wands. Heavily burdened, weighed the fuck down, drained, tired, depleted. They just want to keep keep doing it. Just go ahead. Go ahead, baby. God said, go ahead. I insist. I, I want you to. At this point, God wants these people to. Because at first, he was sending signals. He was sending warning shots so that motherfuckers could stop. Like, you know, your life ain't really got to be like that. It don't really got to go like that, bro. It don't really got to be like that, sis. You know what I'm saying? God be sending warning shots. He'll give you a few warnings. He'll give you a few chances. We got a very merciful, very forgiving, very understanding God. But at some point, he going to reach his breaking point. And he done reached his breaking point at this point. He like, yo, go ahead. Like, God ain't sending no more warning shots. He he just going to show him what it is. Okay? Like, he ain't sending no more warning shots. He just about to show motherfuckers what's really going on, what's really going to go on here. Because this four of wands is still here. This ten of pentacles, this ten of cups is all still here in the upright. This lovers is still here in the upright. Like, go ahead. Keep doing it. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> like, go ahead. God said, go ahead, baby. Go ahead. Do what you do. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Go ahead. Do what y'all do, man. <laughs> all right, collective. This was the message. I hope it helped you guys. I'm a holla. Peace.